No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Okay, guys, learned a uh, valuable lesson today about these motors. See these buckets or these tappets? See this little doohickey here? That's the stop for those. So you cannot put those in from the top. So lucky me, I had to take the oil pan off and the front cover off again. Luckily, these motors are really easy to work on so I took that apart as you saw in the time lapse there and uh, got the buckets dropped in sealed everything back up had to redo the RTV gasket on there so the majority of my time today was spent off camera scraping off gaskets and cleaning up parts to get them reassembled and then um, lining up all the bolts and the bolt lengths to the correct holes because if you accidentally take a bolt that's too long and drive it into the block you could really mess up the motor so I just took my time and went through and uh, got everything lined up the way it was supposed to um, something else you may have noticed uh, when I had to take this apart again is this power steering pump uh, will, will not be used so I took the gear off of the back of it and the the inlet and the outlet housing I just took that off because it won't be used so now it's just there to block oil um, brand new water pump uh, and I had to swap the fitting over to it but it's brand new um, doing away with the old one it didn't look like it was in that great a shape so was hoping to get this wrapped up today but um, with that mistake that I made and scraping gaskets all day, that really uh, ate up a lot of my time. So this is going to have to wait probably till the next episode to get finished. But if you guys like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not uh, subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. This is going to be a really fun build. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, and as always, take care. I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.